so much struggle for a lot of people in this room. And one of the things we've done today is to come together to see how art has so much power to create change and also to pull people into difficult conversations. Uh, welcome everyone to your art gallery in Nova Scotia. As you just heard, this is going to be a very exciting afternoon. The culmination of weeks of partnership with the Mikhail Jean Foundation are many community partners in, in all the work of the artists in this exhibition. The project has been very good in collaboration with the museum. It comes perfectly with the mandate and the mission of the foundation. Visa has supported and given a an espace for young associations vulnerable and for the artists who are visible, understood, and that the problems social to which they are confronted are also. We believe in the power of the arts. We believe in the power of the arts to raise awareness about critical social issues. We believe in the power of the arts to break down barriers separating us from each other. So, we came up with this concept, this initiative, this project called Fourth Wall, Make the Invisible Visible. Uh, I think it's very important to consider the arts and culture and education as the main tools and the main peaceful tools of massive construction, you know. When everything are destroyed, what is the best culture? What is left culture? See, it is the only way to rebuild a society, to rebuild a body, to rebuild uh, uh, an individual, to you know, that's very, very important. Why do I bring in that, you know? I pretend with uh, the arts to save life, you know, to save life as if possible. It saved my life. Yeah, save your life too, you know, I'm sure, you know. And nobody is lost. And even if you people are in the margin, don't forget that the margin is in the page, you know. And it's impossible to create a society and living together if you don't know that the center is really the, the fact of the periphery. <laughs> part of the fourth wall was something really huge that I never imagined being a part of. The heart of this piece is to honor the Indian residential school survivors that don't get talked about in the twistery books that you read. You know, there's so many survivors that don't talk and that haven't spoke and that haven't shared their story. There's so many of them that are still ashamed, still afraid, that still don't speak their language, that still don't practice their culture. And I think this will be a way for them to feel that they're honored and that their culture is important to them and that we do want to hear what they have to say. You see the four colors are represented. We have red, black, white and yellow and those are the races of all men because we're all equal we all matter and we all have a no beginning and no end this isn't just our fight this isn't just our struggle this is canada this is canada for some people that have experienced sexual abuse it's not fun it's not talked about and it's pushed aside you know, to have this platform for my art is a big deal. It's so I can have a voice and I can let others behind me have a voice. This is me being able to do something. It's not pretty and I don't believe sexual abuse should be looked at as fluffy or nice or it's not. This is how some people feel day to day because of sexual abuse. These things are allowed to be talked about. And it means everything to be able to finally say this is what happened and I'm not afraid of it anymore. People come, people go, you know, the, the video piece that we created highlights a lot of the problems that young African Nova Scotian men deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. To have a platform where you can actually interact with an audience, they can ask you questions, you can ask them questions and answer questions, and explore issues together around what you've created is an invaluable an invaluable opportunity. So I applaud the, uh, the Michel Jean Foundation for affording us that uh, opportunity. If you have harm and you don't have healing, 
we have a problem as a society and a culture. And that healing has to take place for victims as well as um, those who have done the harm. If we don't have a system in place that's able to achieve that, we as a society, as a culture, as a civilization are failing. Having my piece in this gallery has been a great opportunity for me and gave me a lot of confidence and being seen by many of the people has really affected me and I'd like to do much more of it in the future. They are running on a treadmill that represents the ideology of the education system. It is continually running and you must keep on it because you fall and you fail. The feet are different on each skeleton, symbolizing that everyone has something that helps him or her in certain areas but holds him or her back in others. My name is Tyler Hyde and with my fiance Johnny Can, we made an untitled video piece that addresses masculinity, femininity and uh, basically the social construct of gender. Um, we decided to use two screens, one to sort of amplify uh, femininity and another to amplify masculinity. Sort of this push and pull that's in, within us all, I don't think there is really any kind of one or the other, I think it's a, a little bit of a mix of both and that's kind of the message that we, we're trying to portray. I don't think youth often get enough of a platform to really speak their minds and aren't given enough credit. Um, so to be able to be a part of that, um, I feel really honored and as an art educator it inspires me to uh, give youth that same opportunity in the future. The title of my piece is Hashtag Justice. It's an LED display that reads Twitter feed, anything tagged justice comes across the feed. The idea of the project was to sort of create an open discussion around the word and to facilitate a conversation of what justice means today. So people don't have to go to uh, the TV or the radio to get the news. You know, they can create their own news and I want to empower you, the viewer, to actually voice your own opinion. So please feel free to send a tweet and tag of justice. Um, well, I created this piece because sexual assault isn't necessarily something to talk about and it really should be. Um, in 2009, 80% of sexual assault in Canada went unreported. That's a little scary. Being chosen for the fourth fall, it gives me an opportunity to not only get my artwork out there, but it gives me the confidence to go about pursuing a career in art. People really don't talk about this and they don't think about what effect that might have on the person who is victimized and how society pressures people in silence. People will get the chance to interpret it in their own ways. My work is going to be in the Art Gallery of Nova Scotia for the next couple months and it's really great that it's going to have that audience. Thank you very much. Have a good evening.